Hi everybody and welcome back to Hex Token Channel, your host Superman. In this video we're going to look at the economic calendar for the United States for September 2022. Let's get into it. We're going to see the key financial indicators that are coming out in September uh, that potentially would have a high impact on uh, the stock market and crypto. Uh, obviously uh, there are other indicators that have a low um, um, uh, uh, medium impact. Uh, but we're just looking at the high impact uh, numbers that potentially could impact those markets. Let's check it out. All right, so here we go. We've got uh, the economic calendar coming up this first September. We've got a lot of stuff around employment. So we've got the initial jobless claims. We've got uh, ISM manufacturing as well with the PMI. And of course, non-farm payrolls and unemployment there on the second. So the first September, lots of employment data and a bit of manufacturing data. We've got the initial jobless claims forecast, 248,000. Previous was 243,000. Uh, so we're looking to see whether that is higher or lower. The uh, uh, manufacturing, of course, is at 52 estimate. It was previously 52.8. Over 50 is typically an expansion. Um, so that would be pretty good for expansion in terms of supply side. Uh, and, of course, that may help with uh, reducing inflation to some degree. Non-farm payrolls, uh, 300K is the forecast. Previously, it was 528,000, which was a very bullish. And, of course, uh, uh, that is, uh, you know, the Federal Reserve would be looking at that um, to see how strong the economy is. And, of course, uh, that would put pressure, uh, potentially pressure on the uh, uh, interest rates and making them higher to offset uh, inflation. Of course, unemployment rate also coming in, 3.5 uh, was forecast, and previously it was 3.5. So we'll see how that gets on. So that's a lot of employment data and a bit of manufacturing at the start of September uh, that could potentially have a major impact on the markets. Coming into uh, two weeks later, on the 30th of September, we've got inflation data coming in. Uh, so employment data first, then followed by inflation. This is the key one, obviously uh, feeding into the Fed's uh, uh, interest rate review. And of course, uh, core CPI that excludes energy and food. So core CPI month on month for August. Uh, and of course, we've got CPI year on year for August. And of course, CPI uh, month on month for August there. Uh, we've also got the PPI on the 14th, uh, month on month for August. And that is the producer's price index. That in, uh, shows uh, the producer's inflation. So more at the wholesale level uh, compared to the retail inflation at the CPI, the, the consumer price index. Um, so uh, we've got the core was at a half percent increase uh, as the forecast, sorry. And 0.3 percent was the last last month's results of the month result for uh, July. I remember September reports on August results. So uh, that is the expected uh, inflation for August. Uh, CPI for August, 8.7 percent is the forecast, which is an increase uh, compared to 8.5 percent. Uh, in the previous month of July. So obviously the lower this will be, the, the less likely uh, interest rates will be so aggressive over time. So we'll be looking at that very closely as the key market there. And of course, CPI uh, month on month, 0.2%. Uh, previous month, it was one3 So uh, looking at for August. All right, uh, September the 14th, of course, the producer price index here, looking for a slight increase, 0.2% inflation. It was a decrease of 0.5% on the producer's price index there, which was a positive sign. Um, but uh, we're looking for a slight growth there in the PPI. Now, core on the 15th, we've got the core retail sales month on month for August. Uh, and of course, that's uh, got a forecast of negative 0.1. And we'll see where the retail sales have pulled back a bit. Obviously, that puts buying pressure on products and inflation. Uh, it was a, a 0.04 uh, previous month in July. The Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing Index coming out, that's uh, looking to be a negative decrease in five. At, at five so that would uh, you know, be a... a uh, add to the inflation fuel, as it were. Uh, it was a 6.2 uh, increase the previous month for July, so that was positive. Now, retail sales month on month also is going to be out there. So we've got core retail sales and retail sales. Uh, that is going to be also 0.1% growth forecast. Uh, it was 0.8 um, the previous month. So that is what we've got with inflation, uh, some bit of manufacturing and retail sales. So we'll see how the uh, supply and demand play out there uh, in the uh, in September, middle of September. But here's the main event, of course, uh, 21st September. Um, so this is about uh, 23 days away from now. Uh, we've got the FOMC economic projections. Uh, they'll be interesting about uh, where they think uh, the uh, uh, interest rates will go over the next uh, wee while. And of course, the FOMC statement. And then, of course, the big deal, the Fed interest rate decision. Uh, will it be 50 basis points if uh, they deem things are pulling back? Maybe inflation comes a bit lower. Or will it be more hawkish 75 basis points or 100 basis points uh, if they're really trying to catch up to that inflation, which is kind of where they're signaled to go to at this stage. So 
Uh, we'll see where that lands. I'm kind of feeling maybe 75 basis points, but we'll see. And the FOMC a press conference there is also going to be out. And of course, I publish those on this channel as well. You can see the past ones uh, on the channel in the last couple of months. Check that out. So that's pretty much an updated economic calendar for September 2022. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll be bringing these to you every single month. So uh, this is very important as we move from a cheap money uh, to more expensive money that has, plays an inverse uh, uh, inverse uh, relationship to stock market and crypto. Uh, so we want monitoring that as we move ahead. All right. I hope, so don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit the bell, and I'll catch you in the next one. And bye.